Hello my fellow friends, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign, playing as a certain smallish nation. So, uh, we are going to leave Historical AI on, just because I want to make sure that we're pretty much guaranteed to go to war as we play as that nice little country of Serbia. Everything is pretty normal, nothing's going to be too different, except Historical AI will be on for this campaign, so Serbia, Kingdom of Serbia, we shall try to make a pretty thick good Serbia, if possible. Now, Serbia, we usually get into war fairly early, and to be honest with you, I've never played as them. I have no idea what to expect, except, you know, maybe a golden age. Ooh, officer staff training, not bad. Wow, uh, that's pretty much it for the focus tree. Cool. Now we can establish different paths uh, we can take. Regency, Alexander I, a national hero, coronation, Orthodox Balkans, that sounds like fun, Fr fr friendship with Russia, friendship with Romania, Belgrade Pact, ask protection of Antal, we don't need protection, no, Serbia does not need a protection, and then, so we can choose any one of these paths, we can become, well, proto-fascist, or I guess fascist, whatever, uh, that's not bad, Mil military dictatorships, coup in Serbia, form a junta government, I'm thinking we might go with coronation, democracy, eh, democracy is democracy, We'll see what happens. Balkan strategy. Reclaim southern Serbia. Wow, we get a lot of population there. Wow, look at our manpower. 76. Uh, Great Serbia Balkan League. I guess for now, let's have a golden age for more stability. So, can't read that. We get more stability. Very cool. We're going to need quite a few guns. Support equipment. We're going to need some artillery as well. Things that go boom are very nice. Uh, go ahead and do that for a second. Oops, my bad. Just do one. Boom. There you go. There you go. Cool. Let's get some research going. We only have three research slots. So, this is probably going to be a little bit of a challenge for me, since I have literally never played as Serbia before in any of my campaigns, so this is a first for me. How do we become, or get this, aircraft engine? Ooh, where do we get an aircraft engine then from? Is it armored cars? No, it's com we have the combustion engine. Uh, we might as well get motorized for now. Can we build anything here? Uh, 50%? Uh, it's not great. Just do that for now. Let's do that for now. We are a very small nation. Incredibly... Oh my god. Wow. We really don't have very much, do we? We do that. We're going to split you guys up in half. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. Radomir. You might be an old general, but that's okay. Unyielding defender. We might need that. So, just in case, you never know what the Ottomans might do. We might need to break into Ottoman-held proper... Serbian territory. You guys be led by. I like this, but I'm probably. Ah, uh, Stepa Stepanovic. Stepanovic. Uh, we'll just give you Petar for now. You shall be led by uh, Pavel. And then. Oh. Liberty Lag. South Africa Act. Cool, very cool. It is only 1910, so we got a little bit of time here. Ranger. Oh, improvisation expert. Good. Now, I guess we could train if... Well, I guess we don't really need to train since you guys are pretty much all regulars. Which is a very good thing. We're going to go ahead and grab Unyielding Defender because I have a good feeling we're going to be on the defense f for a while. You know, for a while. We definitely need some artillery on our bad boys here. Oh, we're not even training anybody yet. Let's see. Train two units, maybe? Perhaps two units? Uh, 12 combat width. Not bad. Engineers, that's pretty good already. So we really need some artillery on here. Yeah, we definitely, definitely need more artillery. Stability isn't bad. War support needs to get better. But we are about to get a little bit more. And bonus to industry. Next up, purchase of locomotives. Focus on peasantry. Ooh, military. Ooh. Oh, at Support urbanization. Military factories. Military factories seem like the way to go. Resources. Steel mills are nice for resources, but that looks pretty darn good. Uh, we'll get into the research slot. I like that. Balkan strategy. Nah, let's go purchase of locomotives, which we get a literal single infrastructure. That's great. Officer training, not bad. King Ferdinand up in an airplane. Land doctrine, land doctrine, defensive. Russian advisors, I like that. Self-modernization, arm the partisans. We get a lot of... Oh, that's not bad. Japanese-Korea treaty. Secret purchases. A thousand guns. Yeah, secret arms supplies, that's not bad. Chetniks. Not bad. Mechanization, not bad. Forts. Forts are okay. That, yeah, that's really okay. Aviation districts. Yeah, but... I'm glad that Serbia has its own unique focus tree. It's a little different than, you know, what the generic focus tree is for this mod. For now, I'm going to go ahead and... Well, actually, I was going to grab someone else. 
Early mobilization isn't bad. Ah, uh, I like I like political power. We really might not need it, to be honest with you. But I'm gonna grab it anyway, just because it's kinda nice getting a lot of political power early on. You guys need to train just a little bit. Got how many things? That's, let's grab that. Disperse industry. Three three research slots, that's not bad. That's actually really not that bad. Export focus, early mobilization. We cannot go to partial mobilization, but at least we're not on civilian economy. That could be very not bueno. So, hopefully we go to war with these guys. We will get, not East Montenegro, but South Serbia, Macedonia. Eventually beat up some Bulgarians, probably too. My goodness, we definitely need some uh, manpower. Oh, my goodness. And we are probably going to grab industry. Consumer goods, yeah, we're definitely going to go that way. Let's focus on peasantry. That's kind of nice. And Milovan Milanovanich. Cool. Sorry, I don't know Serbian at all, but you know what? That's why we're here to play as a Serb. Making some artillery is very nice. Very, very nice. You guys, anything? Stepa? Anything? Yeah, uh, that might be worth it. Maybe if we run into issues moving. We got a little bit of motorized, which is nice. Got some construction. Grab some of that. Let's grab some of that maybe eventually. That's good. Oh, there we go. Aircraft technologies. We really can't support that too much. Just we don't have that much aircraft. Ooh, numerical excellence. That's not bad. Cavalry, soft attack, grand battle plan. Uh, I've yet to use grand battle plan. Get more defense, which isn't bad. Fort assault. More entrenchment and heart attack. That's okay. Planning speed. Da, 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 da. Mm. More breakthrough. 10% is pretty good. Fortification, defense. Uh, let's hope it was okay. Army, 25% breakthrough. God dang, son. That's not bad. I'm thinking that we might need some more manpower. So, you know what? Let's go down this way. Mass mobilization. I've never tried that part of the that branch yet. So, we're definitely going to go with mass mobilization. I think I went front organization with when I played as Russia. I think. Ooh, Revolution Portugal. Monarchs need to be careful. Very good, very good. Elastic defense. That's not bad, yeah. It's going to cost me quite a bit. Less supply consumption, more reinforce rate. Yeah, the 5% more recruited pop population is nice. Helps us and gives us bonuses to cavalry, which isn't bad. More organization and for infantry and motorized and mechanized. And then some stuff. So, it really, we're not going to get a lot of infantry buffs, which kind of sucks. But with the way the AI likes to attack the line, repeatedly, 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 I think we'll be okay. And we don't even have any national spirits. Peter the First. Peter, I really don't know who you are. How much political power do you get? A day 1.35. That's not bad. We got some dispersed industry. Very good. Get some more resources. We could probably use those, even though we probably don't. Oh, we don't have any resources. Well, that's going to change eventually. We get some more steel, which is going to be very nice. Revolution in Mexico. Very good. Focus on peasantry. Let us go ahead and do a Balkan strategy first. Get some war support. That might put us at odds with the Ottomans. Maybe. Hopefully. And then maybe we'll get to uh, establish a regency. So get more stability. And Alexander first becomes leader for the non-aligned party. We'll probably do both of these and then get a Belgrade pocket. Let's see what happens though. Maybe. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll get protection of the Entente. I really don't know. So, ooh, you know what? That does not too bad. You know what? We don't use that much anyways. Get some more stability. I love stability so much. Now let's see. What is a path that everyone else is taking? Morocco's down there. Help. Yeah, France. Yeah. Help us out, man. Maybe you can give us a few guns here and there. We like ya. A certain British position in Central Europe. Uh, cool. They might still do an anti-German policy, which would be very good for us. You guys are doing a national question. So you're going down this path, so which means we are going to fight the Austro-Hungarians eventually. Oh, which authority? So they went with fan Prussian militarism. They still might backstab Austria. We don't know. That'd actually be very cool to see. Not sure what the Ottomans are up to, which I still need to play as. Invite French naval advisors. All right, Russia is doing military exhibitions. They're allied still with the French. Hold on. So, the UK is not in the Entente. Interesting. Chinese Empire, they're not looking blown up yet, which is good. Japan as well as Japan. They're having a good time over in Japan land. Italy, what are you up to? Colonial ambitions. Cool. So, we don't know which way Italy's going yet, which is... Yeah, that's an okay thing. That's a good thing, I suppose. Early support weapons, good. 1911. Happy New Year, my friends. It's 1911. We might get armored cars. We might focus on tanks. Maybe, but we really don't have the industry for it yet. We got some Balkan strategy. And we're going to grab, reclaim South Serbia. Preparations for liberation, which gives us less division training time and more recruitable population, which we need immediately. 
Holy cow, we need more population. We gotta make Serbia great. Truly a great Balkan nation. Next up, good, good, good. We are going with that as well. Planes would be nice. You know what, for a little more research speed, sure, we can grab that. It's only 80 days, that's not bad. 1.37 political power a day. Royalists. And then maybe, maybe then we will get, uh, we can do this. Yeah, it's gonna be important. Uh, get Alexander I on the throne, probably. So, Jovan Jovanovich Pizon. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Please let me know in the comments below. I have no idea. That's what I assume. I think I've heard of that before. Cool. Anything else here? Not really. There's really not much to do right there. We can't, we can't even make divisions because we don't have manpower. But, let's go do Nar Narodna Skupstina. Political power, please. Thank you. And cavalry? Oh my god, they're not looking good. Uh, that's not bad. That would be good for defense. But at least we have our first national spirit. No negative modifiers, but only good stuff. Thumbs up for that. Cool. Uh, we can't switch here because we need to be proto-fascist or communist or be at war. Alright, so with this, we are going to go ahead and grab you to get some more daily army XP gains so we can make our divisions a little thicker, as some might say. We're getting some support equipment, which is great, so we can put some uh, recon on our soldiers because that's incredibly helpful when attacking and defending to know what your enemies generals are doing for what type of strategy or tactics they're using. And artillery, well, that's just good common sense to get artillery to get quite a bit more breakthrough and then some more soft attack. Good. And we need more resources. Goodness gracious, we need more resources. But at least it's 1911. That's good. Aircraft engine. Very good. Let's see. Oh, we could do that. That takes a lot of days, though. I really want this, but do we really have the means of producing that stuff? Not really yet. We might need forts, though. We really might need forts, especially if Belgrade, our capital, is a literal frontline city. Oh, don't, that don't look good. That really don't look good. We get 0 0.05 per day, or army XP a day. That's not too bad. I like the fist. And... There you go. And... We do officer staff training. I do want to get to the University of Belgrade to get another research slot. But that's going to have to wait just a little bit. Well, let's go ahead and establish a region. See, daily, army XP gain. Uh, surrender limit. I like the surrender limit. And you get... Oh, more political power, so establish a regency. More stability for the Serbian nation. Fortification, 20% is pretty good. That's not bad, really. That's really not bad at all. Do anything here. Research speed. Uh, looks kind of, kind of generic, to be honest with you. Uh, defense. Hmm. Might as well go just straight up to free trade to get more of that. You really might as well. There's really not much I can spend my political power on. Hmm. So I guess I'll go here and just choose Serbian State Railways, because we can. And we are mobilizing. We only have a core population of over, a little over 3 million. Wow. That ain't much. That really ain't much. Free war artillery, good. Make them a little harder to beat. Still a little, just a little bit too at a time for me to really deal with them there. Let's go ahead and see if we can grab anything here. Mountaineers might be valuable, actually. Especially if we're finding the mountains or hills. Because we got hills down here. Hills. This is an urban center, of course. We got some forests. Forests. Looks like a lot of forests down here. There should be quite a few mountains or hills, really. It's not bad. 1.4. Hey! Look at that! Just a tiny... Oh, there goes the manpower. We had a good time with that, you know. We have an early fighter because we can. You never know. We might get the industry to build it. The Machu Picchu has been undiscovered. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Grab that, grab that. Good, good, good. Really don't want to train. I don't remember when the first Balkan War happened. I really don't remember. I should really probably try to remember. So we do great Serbia. We need more manpower in the field. We can create our own faction, the Serbian League. Status of Montenegro. War with the Ottoman Empire. Ah. So to do this, we need... Ooh, Great Serbia. Ooh, maybe we should choose the other one. Oh, we have, we, so to do this, we have to choose Fascist Path. Balkan League. Oh. Demand Macedonia. Status of Albania. Form A, we could get Yugoslavia. We just straight up annex them. Or Partition of Bulgaria. We can just straight up annex those guys. Gains a core on... Oh. Hmm. Maybe I made a mistake. 
Ooh, which one do I want to do? We get, we get corns on Dalmatia, Slovenia. Dalmatia, Slovenia. Zara, Montenegro, Bosnia. Well, you know what? We'll just choose Balkan League. We are going historical. I could switch over to Great Serbia. Maybe if I play a Serbia again someday, I will do that path. But I do want to see what it's like to play as a historical Serbia in this one. So if I play this again, play this again sometime, uh, I will choose the Great Serbia path. Coronation. Yes. Stability. Hey, there's Alexander the First. Hello there, Alexander. I hope you're having a great day. He's no backstory, no other modifiers. Stolypin, assassination, cool, whatever. So we really need to pump out as many divisions as we possibly can, quick and early. We need more manpower in the field. Ooh. All right, so all y'all, train. Radomir, hmm. Get recovery rate. We're gonna have to recover quickly for what we're about, to, what we're gonna do in this campaign. When at least it has been stolen. How much manpower do we have in the field currently? Probably not a lot. That's not bad, actually. That's actually an okay amount for now. I don't want to increase the size of these divisions. Not yet. 12 isn't good. But, for what we have... Oh, the Italians went to war. Nice. Very nice. Invasion of them. That's nice. we got to go there, too. For this, infantry... Artillery. Just go with... Zastava Arms. Yes. National hero. More stability. More war support. Great, delicious things. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. So as we get more manpower, as we're mobilizing more and more and more, we will fill field more soldiers, which is very, very good. We only need about 20,000 more soldiers, which isn't too bad. Oh, we just got another 3,000 cavalry raids. Nice. Large-scale warfare. Good. More soft attack. Yeah. We're going to need a lot of Serbians here. We don't have a lot of population, but that's totally okay. We're going to have a lot of Serbs. National hero. Very good. Coronation. I want to get down there so fast, but... Mm, more political power. Well, let's, let's wait on that. Let's go expansion of Belgrade Railway. We get a whole, like, two, maybe? I could do a crisis. European powers are preparing for the worst. What do they need? We are preparing for just building ourselves up and then taking this area. Hopefully everyone else hates the Ottomans, which would be good. Can we breathe a sigh of relief? The Agadir crisis has been averted. Of course it has been. Of course. Opening up one more civilian factory. Expansion, nice. Please give me Macedonia. We deserve Macedonia and Eastern Macedonia. Oh. People's Republic and China has went kaboom a little bit right now. Just a little kaboom. Not too much of a kaboom, just enough. Cool, and we should have enough manpower in the field soon. Very soon. Good, mountain infantry, that'll come in handy eventually. It's almost 1912, I can't do anything there. I yeah, waiting for straight. Nah. Yeah, I'm about to do that. Get more research speed. That'll come in handy. Yes, I know I'm out of manpower. It is what happens when you play as Serbia. Whatever. Extensive conscription. We m might do that if we go to war with the Ottomans. Maybe. We'll see what happens. Expansion of railways. That's really not much. How many guns do we need? 1,200? That's not bad. We definitely need more artillery. I don't think we can really put too much artillery on our guys yet. Mountaineer divisions. Oh, early fighters. Very good. Grab some of that. Better reinforce rate. You guys hanging out. Having a good time. You guys, well... I tell all y'all to train, really. And once we're done with this, we can do Balkan League. We're almost done getting all that infrastructure. A whole, maybe two. Serbia, Serbia. Has five. North Pole Reach, or South Pole, I mean. Perhaps we'll establish colonies someday. And we got two infrastructure there. So we have a very good road. Let's do Balkan League. Rig League, which will ally probably with the Bulgarians, the Greeks, the Balkan League. Only the formation of a single military alliance between the Balkan states will now enable us to liberate the Balkans. Syria must confirm claims to the southern territories and also conclude an alliance with possible allies. We sent our diplomats to Bulgaria, Montenegro, and Greece to join with a plan for cooperation in the coming war. It remains to wait for the news. Yes. Good. Very good. Get some more propaganda eventually. Population supports government policy. This happens every single time if the population supports us, so we'll just say yes, thank you. Oh, I like this. Alliance with Montenegro. Montenegro asks to support them in the liberation of Eastern Montenegro from the Ottomans. True, we can ignore the Bulgarian-Montenegrin military treaty and seize this region on our own, but this can spoil our relations greatly. Good. Let's see, anything here of importance? Importance, importance, importance. No, no, yes. More non-core manpower. Damage garrisons. That sounds like a lot of fun. Planes, tanks, man. If we're going to go to war, defense... 
I want to grab more defense immediately first, because defense, well, defense can be pretty pretty useful. Let's go ahead and stop training and see what happens. Alliance with Greece. Wanting to join the liberation struggle against the Greek uh, Ottoman Empire, Greece signed a military treaty with the Bulgaria and now sent a delegation to us. According to the agreement, Greece will regain Thessalonica, South Macedonia. However, under the contract, Greece will also regain Thessalonica, South Macedonia. Uh, that happens twice. However, they also want to get the coast of Thrace, which is currently inhabited by many Greek minorities. If under the peace treaty, Thrace and South Macedonia, nevertheless, will pass to the Greeks, Bulgaria will be extremely dissatisfied. Well, too bad for them. Like, you can only get so much. You can get East Rumelia, but Greece gets that. Alliance with Bulgaria. Bulgaria agreed to jointly strike the Ottoman Empire. However, they demanded the disputed territories in Macedonia and Thrace, which are inhabited mostly by Serbian, Macedonian, and Greek minorities. We can promise these lands, but however, if we refuse them, then in the future, then we should expect a backlash from Bulgaria. Ah, uh, the Balkans are just kind of a powder keg, that's all. We do want to go to war. Happy 1912, though. Happy 1912, my friends. We got a little bit of manpower, finally. Finally got a little bit more manpower. And we're preparing to go to war with the Ottomans. I don't know, Albania. Oh, wait, we have claims on them. Aw, oh, yeah. We gonna get Albania. Oh, we can go to partial opposition. Let's save our political power for that. We're more than halfway done with the Balkan League. We create our own faction. Please, please, Italy, keep... Are you still at war with these guys or not? Oh, you are. Okay, so do they own roads? I guess they do. Good, we got a little pull of manpower. I love it. The Lena Massacre in Russia. Terrible. Why would they do such a thing? Let's make our guys at least 8 or 10 comet width, please. Because if they ain't, that ain't good. Good, good, good. We're almost there. Literally a week left. Literally a week. We get some radios. Some early radios. Ooh. Nine factories in total, and we create our own faction. Hey, look, buddies! I love buddies. War with the Ottoman Empire, 35 days. Balkan War, in which we get bonus attack. Nice. Very good. Alexander the First, you're being very aggressive. The Balkan League, in a surprising move, several Balkan countries, including rival states Serbia and Bulgaria, have come together to form the Balkan League, a military alliance stated to have been built up against Austria Hungary. Though the alliance target is the Habsburgs, it seems far more likely that the state that divides itself, that the divide these four nations, would be their target. The league is formed, we have this to do, and we shall go over here. Just to get 1% more research speed, because even though we can't really build subs, and I probably won't build subs, well, maybe I will. That's it's still a pretty good thing to do. Cool, we're going to wait maybe to do this, so and then we'll go to war with the Ottomans and get war economy, because we could go to partial mobilization, but I think we're pretty good. Oh... Bulgaria. Bulgaria, please. Um, could it be possible for me to throw this on here? Huh. Sure, why not? Now we have minus... That's not bad. That's really not bad. Minus 23. Minus 21. And we should have it very soon. Alright, so, the Balkan League has simultaneously begun an invasion of the Ottoman Empire's Balkan region in an attempt to overwhelm the forces of the Sultan, who have been recovering from the recent military defeats. In addition, Albanians have been rising against local authorities in an attempt to join the fight. Could this be the end of the Turkish presence in Europe? We gain cores in South Macedonia, South Serbia, Macedonia, and East Macedonia. What a beautiful thing. Truly glorious. Oh, good total mobilization, but we need war economy. Thank you. Next up. Unity or death? War support, proto-fascism, unlocks black-hand decisions. That could never go badly, right? That could never go badly. Alright, so are they attacking me? No. Cool. Which means we must brutally attack them. Can you help support the attack there? No, you can't. That sucks. Can you help support the attack here, maybe? No, you can't. That sucks. War of the Balkans, powder keg, powder keg has exploded. Nice. Now, we're going to suffer quite a few casualties here, I know. But with them fighting... On all different fronts. Ooh. And they're still fighting the Italians. This is going to severely strain the Ottomans. Severely. Come on, guys. You got this. Oh, they're dying over there. They must be doing like a last stand or they're out of equipment. Hejaz. No one cares about Hejaz. Good luck, Hejaz. You're going to need it where you're going. Sinking of the Titanic. Oh, no. Women and children first. Uh, terrible. And we've got some Albanians here. Oh, they're kind of dying. That's all right. Whatever. That happens to the best of us. And ended the Zin Haya Revolution. Very cool. They lost 5,000. I haven't lost anyone yet because, well, the battles aren't over yet. Come on, Bulgaria. Uh, yes, Italy. Yes. We will take some guns. Extra hundreds of guns a day. Wow, that's... Olympic Games, we will attend. But that's great. 
Awesome. Good. How much manpower do they have? Yes, Italy. We will gladly have that. Kill the traitors. Um, oh, they went down this path. Politicize command. Huh. Alright, well that's interesting. Hey, we're doing pretty well down here now. Good. Now I want you guys to stop attacking. I want you to hold. Because that's crazy what you're doing. Please do not attack down there. Hold for the most part. If you could break over here, that'd be much better, actually. We're doing okay. Even the Greeks are winning. The Bulgarians, they haven't really... Eh, they're winning now, I can say. That's good. I can't imagine the Turks have much manpower. Nope, they do not. Diesel engine and diesel generator and battery. Uh, that's a little bit too ahead of time for me to really want to do. All of these really are. Uh, military police, that wouldn't be bad. Oh, yeah, we need field hospitals. Grab those. We definitely, definitely need field hospitals. Right now, artillery, not bad. Guns, not great. I mean, artillery could be much, much worse. An analytical engine, very good. Come over here, grab some of that. We need more defense and breakthrough. Someday we will have a mighty Serbian population. Help them out if you can. Especially keep them in place. Good. Now the Ottomans are really not having a good time. Radomir, even though you're very good on defense, I need you to help out with attack. Good, good, good. Integration into Bosnia, Dalmatia. Uh, we don't want to piss off too many people yet. Uprising in Bosnia, that's like fun. But we need to go down here, but we have to be at peace probably and finish this off. So let's go with officer staff training. So we get more leader cost, but more max planning, more war support, and more army XP. Not bad. Alright, so you guys are failing pretty harshly. So all of you guys kind of just hang out. That's a lot of losses. Actually, not really. We've only lost 6,000. That's actually really, really good. Holy cow. Now push him back. Push him out here. Tons of attack. These guys are out of manpower, probably. And I want to end the episode with a successful war. That's what I want to do. You know what? Let's get these guys off. Help them out. Help them out. Mm, you should be able to win. Especially there's only two divisions there now. That's good stuff. Send half you guys down here to help out, too. You should be able to win down here, too. So. Mm, the numbers are kind of fluctuating. Send one more guy up this way. Come on, you guys got this. Get another general. Uh, I really don't want to promote this guy, but it's, it's who we got right now. Give him even more attack if you can. German Empire tends to isolate us. Germany supported the economic war that Austria has been waging against us since the terror conflict of 1909. Let's say they tend to weaken the flow of resources, but force us to get closer to the Entente. We will find other partners. Absolutely. If they don't want us, so be it. Oh, yeah. Infantry attack defense. Good. 5 to 10% more. Very nice. Alright, so we lost that battle. That is okay. That is okay. We're going to pierce into here if we can. Help the attack. Oh, they're really beating these guys down. Oh, boy, that's not good. Help out, help out. Give these guys a little bit of rest, and help attack again. Another division, very good. Bermeji is dead. The Greeks are doing better than everyone else. Even Montenegro is not doing that great. We're about, oh, Ale is one division there now. Very good, very good. We're gonna try to rescue the Montenegrins and destroy these divisions. Come on. I know we need more guns. I know we do. It's 1912. Come on. It's only a single division. And we did it. Now, rest up really quickly. We've lost 7,000. Not bad. Officer staff training. Very good. Uh, we do could do coordination. Defensive strategy. Land doctrine. Land doctrine. Out of supply. Strengthen... Resistance, efficiency, or go down here for land doctrine. Winter attrition, recovery rate, that's not bad. 300 guns. Well, if I can buy more stuff, that's not bad. This is cool and all, but, eh, it's not really that great. So, have a defensive strategy first. Cool. You guys are extremely weak, holy cow. Alright, so we're gonna come here then. And you guys have to support the attack. You should be, it's only one division. I know attack isn't very good right now, but we should do okay right there. Keep holding here, guys. Keep, keep holding. Oh, they sent... Oh, why they sent a white piece already? Come on, man. That's not cool. 
I wonder how far we have to get to kill these guys off. You guys got this? It's only hills and mountains, that's all. I'm really disappointed in Bulgaria, because they, they're choosing not to do very much. That's not very good for us. So they're not going to get very much. If they choose not to do stuff, then they're not going to get very much. Come on, don't kill your guys off. Rest up just a little bit. Rest up. Large scale warfare, not bad. Go ahead and, uh, so we got a little more soft attack and recovery rate, get more organization, good. Good stuff. Nice, we took it. Let our guys recover a little bit, that is fine. They need more guns, they need a lot more of everything. That is fine with me, they're actually winning, the Greeks are. That's very nice. Uh, next up, we're gonna strike into here next. Because they're winning and we can't really allow that to happen, so thank you. Liberation war is over. Oh boy, that's not good. Good. Risk. Make sure we, these guys don't die there. That would be very bad. Now, we're not necessarily winning here, but whatever. Come on, guys. Do Bulgaria do something. No wonder no one gave you territory when we were done here in real life. Oh, my goodness. Can you guys win there, maybe? God, this sucks. Oh. That really sucks. If that's the case, well, I'll just kill them here, then. Does anyone have upgrades, maybe? Maybe, maybe not? No, not yet. Okay, whatever. Do we have any other guys down here? Cavalry, recovery rate, artillery. Ooh, let's get that. That'll help out since we have artillery. Very good. Field hospitals are going to be incredibly important. Incredibly important. Next up. Uh, that's a little bit too out of time. We can't really do much here. If we can build anything, it'd probably be subs. Uh, basic torpedo. Oh, we need torpedoes. You might as well do that. They're cheap. They're pretty effective. Defensive strategy, good. Let's go ahead and do coronation. Good. Yeah, that's not working. The Ottomans are dug in here like crazy. Um, I doubt you guys could really... Oh, hello. Could you guys push this way? You might be able to, actually. Hopefully. Cool. Alright, so, I know our divisions aren't that thick, but let's make them thick, boys, then. Make them pretty thick. 20 combat width. I know artillery would be best to put on these guys, but you know what? It's what we don't have right now. And I know we don't have guns, either, but... Nah, this should be good. This should be pretty good to do. Come on. Give me half of you guys. Come on down here. Can we break these guys? That'd be great. Greece is doing work. Montenegro's doing some really great work. We're trying to do our best, but... The Greeks, I mean the Bulgarians, are just a little pathetic, not gonna lie. Come on, come on Bulgaria, do something here. You have a chance for glory, but you choose not to? That's not cool, man. You guys hang out, you guys help the attack. Continually support the attack. I want this guy to get a little stronger first. Come on, come on. We can beat him back, maybe we can link up with the Greeks? I wonder how long this war is going to last between us and the Ottomans, though. Because this is taking quite a while. I really don't like this. Oh, we can grab some of that. More war propaganda. Ooh, Black Hand. Oh, we hurt Austria. Oh, I like this. Assassination attempt of an officer. Arm rebels. That sounds like fun. Oh, come on, man. Don't give me that. No, no. Get the horse in there. 95. You're at 95%. How can you not win against these guys that are incredibly weak? We've lost 10,000. They've lost 46,000. That's not enough. Keep attacking, guys. Keep attacking. See what happens. Nice. We See, that's all you take. That's all we got to do. But unfortunately, we're not going to be able to win this war just yet. We will win this war in tomorrow's episode. If you like today's episode, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below if you haven't already. And I will see you tomorrow when we will beat the Ottomans and maybe take out the Bulgarians, depending on what happens. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.